Wait. Okay, there we go. Yeah, welcome back, Sergey fans. This is Shadow Free 3 once again. We should have the delay properly set up. Should be a proper minute. So anyway, like I said, it's going to be Clone Prince Reaper versus Lift of Norm. Should be starting any time now. Just get that ready. This is going to be a pain in the butt to set up highlights for one thing. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. last game, the last stream was just one series, so that should be okay. And the first one was, like, two series. Now, semifinals, bronze match finals should hopefully be one long, uninterrupted stream that I can just chop from. Has begun. We are on Cold Snap. This map is big. It has a very nice lighting, too. Wow. Yes. A pretty skybox. I love pretty and s nice snow and a good choice of color. It's purple. Don't see a lot of purple maps right here. I could stare at this for a while. Not all day. Just just for a short while. It's nice and bright. Glows nicely. Anyway, so getting distracted. <laughs> Aesthetics aside, and also unnecessary menus. This map is, as we can see, fairly big. It looks like it's about six. It's like 18 by 16 or something. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it's 12 by 10. <laughs> Three. Silly me. Anyway, Norm over the northwest for Cloaky Bots. Clone did you put the stream east. on? I did. Yeah, the stream's on. I only see your the CD brackets and Twitch. I... No, the stream's on, but it has a minute delay. And, Lynx, I just read your message, but I think I read it after it was posted. So we got... Oh! Flipstep and Norm start uh, away from each other. That makes them very vulnerable to air. Very, oh, very yeah, vulnerable. this is the risky start. I mean, the idea being, of course, that you want to have side control, but the downside being that, like you said, weak to air, whereas Clone and Princey going for the exact opposite strategy, which will have... Pretty. I mean, it's not they, the opposite strategy. It's the counter strategy. I mean, they have it's air. It's really hard to help each other this way. If they decide to focus on one of those two, with the two of us, either with land factories, air factories, it doesn't matter. It's, if they work together against one of the two, it's almost impossible to stop. Well, we'll and also see. the the, the um, norms factory placements. I think he could have started more to the south. Yeah, that's to get that third nexus. Norm was trying to defend this north ramp. I think that's the reason they went with what they did. They wanted to take this north ramp. They wanted to make sure that it was easier to set up a defender's advantage. I mean, I see what you mean. They probably could have done it from further south. It's just, it's probably a bit more intimidating to try to do so. And now Clone and Princey, well aware of Norman Flipstep's setup. Norman Flipstep, on the other hand, not really aware of what Clone and Princey have. Oh, come on. Switch over. Yeah, they have no idea. They have not seen yet. They're scouting out. They're trying to figure out what's going on. They know that they are set up in the northeast. Or they know that the east side is not set up in the northeast. They are center and southeast. Clone has been spotted. Oh. Princey not so much. Although, whoa, Clone. What? No radar. No radar indeed. For neither. Actually. That's no yeah. radar, no factory. Wow, that's. Well, okay, no, they have radar now, but. Flipstep, and Nor Flipstep has radar. Clone has radar. But that factory. Holy crap, that's actually... Is that gonna... That's not gonna go down. That... I don't think it's gonna go down. The bandits are coming in, and the Swiss coming in. No, the factory <laughs> barely goes down. That was... Oh, that's too close. Clone did not quite stop it. They're going for a caretaker, though, which is exactly the right move. Getting the caretaker, probably gonna reclaim, put it into storage, and then supercharge build of another factory. And that Scorch in the back. Nicely uh, done by... Wow. Well done, Flipstep and Norm. Wait, there were... Um, four uh, Swifts. What happened to the other three? I missed it, sorry. I didn't see four, but... Did I die to the defenders? Oh yeah, you're right. I think... I think they might have. I have reclaimed... I've reclaimed Glow off, so I actually don't know. Looks like... One of them... Yeah, they died to the North defenders. They died to Norm's defenders. Or at least one of them did. 
Looks like they got kind of split up. But anyway, flip to the norm. Make use of the situation and get claim as much area as possible. And they are kind of doing that. Flipstep is setting up masons over to the south. We have Norm setting up... Well, actually, yeah, they're sending the commander to the north. They're trying to take that north area with the geothermal expansion. It looks like overall that Flipstep and Norm are doing what they can to expand. They probably could have another worker. They probably could be expanding yeah, most definitely. with one more. So it's not quite enough. I mean, they are... They're getting ahead. I mean, Clone and Princey have to try to keep pace. Uh, even uh, made a second factory, added the air factory to their lineup. Yeah, then get some Swifts and Hawks and get rid of these Ravens and then never have to worry about anything again. They have air control. It's theirs. Basically the game. And Island D throwing a really interesting point there about how few people are very good with air. Because Google Frog, Google Frog and Psychos both mention how surprised they are that no one tends to go for air in 2v2, or very rarely. And that's an interesting point, but at the same time, yeah, using air isn't as easy as it looks. I mean, you got to make sure that you're aiming at the right targets. You have to hit frequently. Like, you have to know when your air is recharged and you're not just wasting it idling, as Princey is doing right now. You have to make sure you're hitting everything you can. You have to make sure that you're hitting the best locations where they're not defended. You can't really take ground control at the same time. But now they're wasting raiders left and right. It's not... Yeah, that north side didn't really work out too well. Ravens over to the south, just leaving right as soon as the Scorchers get in. This is very bad timing. Well, very good timing for Philipstiff. Very bad timing for Princey, but I think Princey will be able to defend in time. If you can get the Scorchers, that now, the Scorchers the need to attack. Like, now. Or flip, maybe. Flip, 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 flip. What is he going to bomb? I don't know. Looks like the commander. Oh, but, he lost the bomber. Oh, just barely. Too close. Way uh, too flip close. Stick. And yeah, oh, pointing out, Prince he has no radar. Prince Reaper has no idea there are Scorchers coming around the back here. Although, unfortunately, the he timing does. was not great. The Scorchers coming in right as the Ravens come back, but still, that was perfect regardless. I mean, the defense of the commander was just... That was clutch. But, the, oh, is it going to go down? No, it's not going to go down. This is not going to go down at all. The commander's not going to go down. A couple of metal extractors. The factory's damaged. But yeah, no death. Yeah, losing raiders left and right, feeding a lot of metal. Yeah, they're actually, Clorin and Princey have been kept keeping parity. Despite the fact that they were behind early on, and despite the fact that Flipstip and Princey are kind of... Sorry, Flipstip and Clone... Oh, but Flip you know sooner or Flipstip uh, can beat Princey <coughs> there in the south. You think, I think he can do it. But they really need their own air now. That would be the perfect mm -hmm. addition to their army. Their army. Well, Flipstip and Norm... Counter-attack with Bandit through the center. Yeah, indeed. Clone, clone coming in with that. I... Don't see this working out too well, though. There are enough glaives set up. The bandits is, trying to go to the south. Uh, is Flipstip paying attention? I don't know. No, if they, no they're not. They're not paying attention at all. Flipstip no, is... Looting, no, losing raiders left on. and right. I don't even know what Flipstip's focused on. I think that anti-air truck in the south. I don't know. Just got bombed. Maybe. They're focused on their commander to an extent, but... Yeah, the crasher is not able to do much. And the Flipstip's commander is still alive. Not bad, though. I mean, that, that's a good play, but yeah, there's Prince is, is wasting well. bombers on defenders. <laughs> Which, yeah, that's a big problem and needs to be rectified. Especially since Flipstep and Norm actually are ahead now. The only thing they don't have is production, but now Norm going for the air switch, Flipstep going for a fusion plant. Admittedly, nowhere near as dramatic as the air switch, but still, a fusion plant is basically, we're in the, we are in the late game. That is the fusion plant. Thanks. Ha. Huh. And... Norm, they've got their defense line set up. They have their half the map set up. Flipstep is still taking it, and Princey and Clone not taking their... They have enough room. They could take their half of the map. They haven't, but they could. However, Norm trying to put a bit of pressure, trying to continue to dissuade them from doing so, and successfully at that... Or, wait, I spoke too soon. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, look, that's oh, uh, what I call a good tick. <laughs> Never mind, I actually spoke exactly right. Slightly out of turn, but my conclusion was still correct that... That attack got nowhere thanks to that wonderful use of the tick. That's exactly how it should be done. I mean, baiting them um, out. The only <laughs> downside... Okay, almost exactly how it should be done. There needed to be more glaives. That was the one downside. There were insufficient glaives, but Scorch is coming uh, in. Scorch Flip is, uh, up the slack. Well. That is Focused death. The outlaw and that's it. Yeah. The thugs don't have much to work with. Oh. The Scorchers have to wait for the slow to go away, though. That's the one problem. I really... Uh, Oh man, once again, Flips are throwing away those Scorchers. I mean, the Crash is coming in doing a decent amount of damage. And the Swift's coming in as well, getting rid of the getting rid of the Ravens. Where is the anti-air? 
Still, yeah. Ravens. Princey continuing to go for Ravens. They have Swifts coming in later, but they're going for Ravens right now. They're going for Heavy Tank as well, but nothing has yet been built. Four Scythes for Commander Snipe Duty. There we go. Oh, that's oh, one that Commander. Oh, and that's Factor Snipe, though. Yeah, that's right. Clone losing their commander to the size, but the Cloakuma Factory went down already. Wait, I missed that. Was there a bomber raid? Where? The, the Northwest. Norm lost their Cloaky Butt Factory. How did I miss that? That's a big deal. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice. Yeah, Norm, I think they got bombed out. I mean, they went for, they're going heavily for air, so it's not the biggest deal, but still. That's a big deal. That's a huge deal, especially... Norm has 50. Norm is plus, or up to plus 50. Plus 34 to plus 50, depending on the current reclaim. Rebuilding the Cloaky Butt Factory, although somewhat slowly, it'll take them a little little while. Wait. What the heck's going on? Whoa, okay, I think... Okay, there we go. I thought it was bugged out for a second. So, Princey now getting their... Th they're getting their tanks up, but Scorchers pretty much beat Reapers. I mean, the Bombers will no, help against the Scorchers. It's not as one-sided as you think. Well, it is when they're moved around like this, when they're microed properly. Yeah, Reaper has no chance. It just cannot hit. The only downside, of course, being that the Scorchers are not just fighting the Reaper, they're fighting Bandits, they're fighting Ravens, they're fighting Swifts a little bit, too. So the Reapers can get some shots off, but honestly, the Reaper just survives. That's all it really does. Nearly got killed. Operative word, nearly. Nearly <laughs> died. And Scorchers being pushed back, it looks like they're trying to... They're not trying to bait for anything, so Flipstep just getting heavily damaged. Uh, Flipstep is smashing up a nice ball of vehicles. Yeah, okay, there we go. Levelers, Reaver... Uh, sorry, Levelers, Ravagers, Wolverines, well, there Slashers, some, uh, and Scorchers. The Punisher. Let's can deal with this. There's... there's room to skirmish. Yeah, there's the one Banisher, but that's not a whole lot of health. I mean, the Scorchers are going to be the big problem, but the ah, Ravagers will stop it. Phoenix. Oh, what is it called? Ravagers beat Banishers. So, that's the thing. There we and go. Bandits coming to the center. And Over Thunderbird, yep, there we go. Thunderbird taking out the center again. Getting rid of the Bandits. Although, the Bandits going into the Shield Ball, protecting themselves. So, not able to completely finish that off. That's the one thing. And, Timo Timo asking about Control X. It Control X does, in fact, remove units if they're off screen. Yes, Timo Timo, Control X will remove units from the current selection if they are off screen when you hit Control X and they're currently selected. Bit of a distraction there, sorry about that. But back to the game. Thrun trying to just slice through Flipstep's territory, but this is a risky idea. It's doable. Definitely doable. The shields might be able to hold it off. The Scorchers, no, actually, they're making it less and less doable with time, and the bandits have retreated. The bandit line has broken, which no, means that they're getting the only yeah the only hope is the outlaws. Slowed and the banish, uh, very the dangerous. outlaws are the only but the, the, hope. The right idea that. is to uh, combine uh, the armies like this. That's good. Yeah, but there we this go. This is what happens. Ah. Princey and Clone coming in, and Thunderbird coming in to finish that out. Now, the one thing to point out actually is that there was a patch recently, about a month ago, or between the last two tournaments. Slow damage now doesn't cap at fifty. The effect caps at fifty, but the damage actually goes above that. Or so you stay slowed for longer, but only for fifty percent. Oh, never mind. No, I'm no, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a visual thing. My mistake. I'm sorry. It's capped at fifty, but fifty percent is the full bar. I'm sorry. That was that was an error on my part. It's just the the visuals were better were tweaked. I miss I misread the patch notes. Oops. Yeah, you can tell on the tooltip itself. It says fifty percent. It's just fifty percent <sighs> is a hundred percent. It's just they're slowed to half when it's a hundred percent full of slow. But anyway. After all those, that damage, Clone and Princey, more important thing, Clone and Princey have taken their half the map. They have actually managed to secure their half the map, and that is important. Flipstep and Norm trying to deal with that, trying to break through with Zeus, trying to break through with Swift. They're going to do a bit of damage, but these Kodachis are holding them back nicely. But yeah, overall, it's just... Clone and Princey did take their side of the map, which is exactly what they needed to do. But yes, now it's... Uh... Oh. Flipstep's turn to reclaim. Yeah, and Flipstep... Oh, man. Flipstep and Clone, look at their army values. It is their game to lose. They have twice the army. They have also an economic advantage on top of that. This looks like it's tr going to be probably the last push. I mean, Norm is yeah. harassing to the north. And that's dealing a bit of damage. That's not doing great. But Flipstep... 
I mean, Flips was just pushing hard to the south. If there were Scorchers, or there are Scorchers here, the Scorchers are not in position, but the Scorchers, if those go in position, that is done. That Reaper would go down. There's not a whole lot defending it. There aren't, I mean, Princey has been switching over to try to gain air control since Clone switched over to air, although Clone has the Clone factory back as we've seen with the Swifts. But since Clone switched to air, Princey switched over to air control and no more Ravens for Princey. Actually, no more anti-ground for Princey other than the heavy tanks. Although, unfortunately, Flipstep not microing those Scorchers, which is exactly what Flipstep needs to do. Micro the Scorchers, the only way they're going to win against Reapers is to be microed. And Reapers pulling them back into the Lotuses, getting rid of the Scorchers, but more Scorchers coming in. Flipstep just needs to attack with a nice combined force. That should seal it. Clone, however, counterattacking through the center, while Princey getting distracted and thunderbirding out everything. Flipstep, you must retreat. Even the non-disarmed units must retreat at this point. And Clone in the center, getting pushed back by Flipstep's forces. At this point, Princey and Clone, they need something different. They need either artillery or they need... I mean, the Thunderbird is a good idea. But they need some sort of artillery or they need missile silo or they need... I don't know, something big. <laughs> but they don't have... They need to escalate. They don't have enough to tear apart these forces with what they have and anything they can afford. Or at least anything yeah, they can buy in units. Strider time. Pretty much. Strider, nuke silo, I mean strategic nuke silo. Which would be a bit extreme, but yeah. But a scorpion is a halfway down. Yeah, scorpion works. Or something like a Bertha. Like a Bertha or a Behemoth might be okay. I think those are fairly expensive though. Like those are I think four thousand metal each. And actually, speaking of striders, Flipstip already well ahead of that. Already nicely on that, so Flipstep... Flipstep has the Scorpion that Clone and Princey desperately need. Because Clone and Princey, I mean, that the Shield Ball, or Clone does anyway, but that's not great. The Thunderbird counters it directly. Norm has air control, so there's no easy way to stop the Thunderbird from getting around. And Flipstep, they have leveliters. They can smash through the shields themselves, and they have Ravagers to tank the Felon damage. Uh, and they have Wolverines to deal the damage in, in advance, so there's really not much. It's a sloppy play by Flipstep. Uh, Over to the north, yeah. Oh, sheesh. Wow, that was a mistake. Doesn't really matter, though. I mean, the attack coming in here, the Felon's gonna lose all their shields. Swift's coming in to deal a bit of damage, just pecking away at it. And the Thunderbird coming in oh, to nice, clean uh, everything up. Yeah. That was a wonderful Thunderbird shot. The only downside is didn't hit that one outlaw. That one outlaw is gonna be a real thorn in their side, but honestly, it's the Reapers. That's gonna stop it. But still, that's forcing them back. Clone and Princey being forced back once again, allowing Flipstep and Norm that much more time to, to maneuver. The Scorpion is up. No further Striders so far, but there will be soon, I'm sure. And Princey trying to set up Caretakers to reclaim, but they haven't been able to successfully actually finish any. They've been setting them up and then been unbuilt, and then just leaving them alone. I don't know why they're doing that. Those Caretakers need to be built. They're a good idea. But a shield ball it just keeps growing. <laughs> It it's does. Funny. It gets disarmed, but it doesn't really get killed. It keeps retreating. Clone's very good at that. I mean, Clone, we know, is a very good defensive player. Yeah, he doesn't like to take risks. Well, it certainly pays off in a lot of situations. I mean, <coughs> yeah. it can obviously work against them, but especially in this case. And Scorpion coming in doing the same thing as the Thunderbirds, except <laughs> with an actual support force of itself. Yes, and... Uh Oh, and it, is different. I think the felons from, too. Uh, disarm. Yeah, well, the felons don't have a lot of shields to work from anymore. In fact, they have no shields left. They have no damage left. That is that felon ball is dead. No, it's not dead. Okay, it's not dead, but it's it's killable, I should say. Uh, there's still reapers and lots of shields. Yeah, the reapers are out of position, though. I think if it's just a matter of there aren't enough quite enough follow-up units and these. Scorpion is a little bit too far north from the shield ball. Uh, in situations like this, Flips that really needs more constructors with his army. He's yeah, reclaiming all this stuff. Uh, but, um, while and they're fighting, too, uh, yeah. Norm is set taking the north. Well, they need their, uh, I mean, uh, Clon and Princey, you need to fight together to stop Flips dip in the south and then... Yeah, I mean, that's can do working north. nicely. I mean, Flips dip and Clon... The thing is, what we were talking about before, about this way they're set up, that didn't work against them. The air was not really taken advantage of to deal the fact that Clone, sorry, that, that Flipstep and Norm were separated. 
And Clone and Princey, while well, they have been together, and they have been working together nicely for the most part, at this point they are getting separated in a very similar way that you were concerned Flipson and Norm would be. Well, that was mostly the lucky factory snipe. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah killing that shield by factory early on. That was, a, that was a clutch move, but it worked beautifully. And once again, another factory attack, but this is not going to work out too well. That, that worry is going to go down. And Clone getting a hit. This isn't going to do much damage. These Rockos really aren't enough. And another Scorpion coming down, and it looks like, is that a Dante? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There's a Dante on top of the Scorpion, and the first Scorpion is dead? Wait, what? I think mm -hmm. the first Scorpion died. Did you see the first Scorpion die? No, it's on the hill. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's just hard to see with the glowing. But yes, there it is. You're, you're right. Good place to be, too. Clone does not have much defenses there. They're trying to focus right near their factory. They're trying to focus on the front line. Flipstep, however, is weakening the front line in order to get this nice sneaky attack in there. But that sneaky attack should pay dividends. The only downside being that the south is also undefended. The Reapers can deal quite a bit of damage. And Tix trying to do their best, but not able to deal with it. However, the Scorpion, is it about to get in? Is It is... Barely about to get in. I was going to go for the shield ball, I'm sure. No, but the, it cannot take the shield ball on its own. Yeah, those racketeers are going to be the biggest problem. We'll see, though. Actually, they're clumped up enough. The EMP will do it. Oh, yeah. yes, maybe. Yeah, that EMP takes out <laughs> everything but a I couple thugs. I didn't expect that. <laughs> that was a nice shot. Unfortunately, it was not a very long-lasting EMP. So you got one thing right. That wasn't going to be able to take out the shield ball completely on its own. And actually, that was too risky. You were exactly yep. right. That is one dead scorpion. However, there is yet another live uh, scorpion coming in, and the Dante <laughs> is in as well. So, not much to be said there other than the Dante, wi Dante wins against Thunderbird, apparently. Wow, good to know. Yeah, not, not, sure. not much to be said there. Flipstep has broken open Princey's lines. Norm, I mean, they're taking advantage of the scorpion attack, but even then, it's not Silence, easy. They're all still li alive. Why does, I mean, why does Norm not build some sharpshooters? That's the one thing I don't know. The sharpshooters would be perfect. Okay, but I I said sharpshooters, plural. They're like four <laughs> felons. You kind of need more than one sharpshooter to be able to reliably get rid of them. Especially when your opponent can throw bandits around and just scout out the sharpshooters. But yes, one of the sharpshooters is in fact running to the front lines, or walking. Walking placidly to the front lines. Hopefully we'll eventually get there at some point. You know, tomorrow maybe. Oh wait, there it is. And trying to kill a bandit. Doing some target practice. Don't totally approve, but we do see that clone. Clone gone for gunships. Gunship switch. Where is that gunship switch? Oh, it's over here. Northeast, we have rapiers coming in. Nice rapier belt building up. Half a dozen so far. This is going to be kind of scary, but I think this is not the way that escalation should go. There are enough defenders that this is going to be decently well taken care of if it comes in. And it's not helping Princey. The only thing that those Reapers could really do is come down here and help out with the Dante. That's the biggest thing they could do. But honestly... Uh, Dante, keep moving. Dante, keep moving. <laughs> Wrong direction! No! Dante is disarmed and dead! That... Oh, that was a lot of money. Mm, 3,500. They're really playing sloppy. And catapults coming in as well. I, uh, that would have been actually really useful earlier on. As well as a funnel web. Are they just running through every single type of strider? Like one of each? See what sticks? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it. Although, but no, still there are two. You have the shield ball, which is a very good type of... Uh, unit to uh, with low attrition and the same goes for those uh, rapiers they're like little no attrition hit and run yeah the clones kill a unit them in the retreat, right spot. kill a unit retreat type of uh, play the south side has very little defenses clone and is is using the attack complete there complete opposite he only these, does these massive hit <laughs> attacks without uh, massive retreat. suicide attacks yeah, yeah that's the thing if it weren't for the suicide part it'd be okay but it's a yeah. lot of bombers. Yeah, that Dante, man. That Scorpion too, I can kind of see, I can see the Scorpion attack. I would have done that. Not that that's actually an endorsement, but still, it did Clone seem like a good idea. will just slowly kill stuff left and right. Yeah, you see the military, it's take evening no out. Flipstep and Norm's, well, Flipstep more so than Norm's carelessness has cost them a lot. They cost them military advantage. They still have economic advantage, but even then that's evening out. 
And Norm coming in with a lot of bombers. So you're trying to get rid of the rapiers with ravens. And that will be successful, actually. Getting rid of the entire yeah, rapier ravens. ball. You only can make defenders against. <laughs> Pretty much. No, that was a joke. <laughs> oh, really? Hard to tell. <laughs> Quite honest, it was. <laughs> ravens are like that. And Princey going for a crow. Okay, double crow. Actually, well, they can really afford it, too. That's like... Well, okay, four minutes. Maybe they can't totally afford it. Uh, that's Throwing still so plus much 50... In, or 30 metal into crow for each. They... They're going for crow and another? Oh, Princey's commander goes down, but that's irrelevant. It's way too late in the game for that to matter that much. The commander... It does go down, but so what? And at this point, like, there's not much more to be said. I mean, Princey has the reclaim. They have the crow, the double crow coming up. I don't know how well it's going to work. The funnel up coming in. But that is escalation. I mean, that's that's what I was saying before they needed to do was escalate. Got to get back in here and flip step with another strider. And getting yet another funnel web. I mean, most of flip step's military advantage is in striders right now. They have one funnel web, another one coming in. They should have a catapult around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, missed the shield ball too. Get rid of a couple defenders, but missed the shield ball completely. And made that entire area vehicle impassable pretty much. Yeah, well, with the catapult and two funnel webs. Ah. If you put those together, you have a pretty nice army. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just the fact that the catapult missed. That was a bit of a problem. It's got another 10 seconds, I think. Oh, never mind. It's almost completely reloaded. Firing again into nowhere. It's just force firing the ground there. I mean, it's going to hit yeah, the convicts a bit, but it needs to save that for when it sees the shield ball. Because that shield ball would go down in a hurry, and that convict, I mean, that catapult would kill it. The convicts, whatever, who cares? But the, the catapult killing that shield ball would probably turn the game right back around. The flips up in Norse favor. That would end oh, that it. But that catapult that's moving forward on its own is a very bad idea. <laughs> oh, that's the other problem, yeah. I meant more it, when the shield ball comes in. The shield ball is going to inevitably at some point come in to either the center or the south. One of the two. Clone needs to use it at some point. It looks like the south is where it's going to go. Flips up and... Do Flips up and Norm even know? They don't. They don't have radar in, that far inside the base. They don't really know exactly Bravo what's going on. Oh, is done. Yep, Princey's Crow is done. Clone's Crow is almost done. It's got another minute-ish. Shield Ball is now in the south, so the warriors walk in through the center. Um, yeah, don't move into the AA with those fighters. Yeah, <laughs> oh man, that, that... I mean, even then, the Crow still doesn't have a problem, but... Oh, okay, that's going to be a problem. Flip step and... Well, Norm mostly. Norm still has... They should still have their Ball of Swifts somewhere. No, it looks like they lost their Ball of Swifts. Hmm, that's unfortunate. But even then, that crow is... This crow is still pushed back. I mean, it's not dead, but it's also delayed. So that's the big deal, I think. That That's still a problem. Crow and catapult, number two. Catapult once again going for this attack. And the shield ball going to walk into the missiles as they come in. Unfortunately, they aren't quite going to hit. Still miss everything. And the shield ball still yeah, moving forward. This time, the, the catapult dies to the crow. Yeah, that catapult. If it can kill, if they can get rid of the crow, but they can't. Not in time. There goes the D gun, and that catapult is. Will it cost him his? Uh, no, crow? no, the catapult. Oh, the catapult burned to death. So close. Thunderbird came in, but that's not enough. That catapult was really necessary. But yeah, it will cost the crow. The crow trying to get away. Looks Think like. It is it gonna get away? It. It. It does. Will. Yeah. That's uh, one hell of an efficient uh Wow, nice. Trait. Crow for Catapult. I'd take that one. Four funnel webs, okay. Nine one imprint of uh, bigger armor uh, value. Wow, okay. That's I don't know how well it's gonna work. I mean funnel webs if they have the drones, sure, but I think there's enough anti air with that rapier ball. No, 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 there isn't. Never mind. The drones managed to get through, tearing everything apart, and that's... That's still kind of tough. The, the the crow trying to do what it can, doing a decent job. The chainsaw mainly the one doing the work. 
getting rid of all of those drones. And Shield Ball being attacked once again tears apart that bomber line, tears apart the missile silo. I think Flipsum and Norm is going to be so multi threaded. Yeah, no kidding. Flipsum and Norm, they are having a hard time paying attention. That's kind of the problem you were mentioning before is that no one is paying a lot of attention, and Flipsum and Norm are not. Flipsum in particular is not. No, I'm not sure what he's doing. He's go building a Banta? No, he's building another. No, he's making another funnel web. Okay, now you have three funnel webs together. If you can make that work, come on. Well, the problem is the chainsaw. The chainsaw basically nullifies the funnel web. And why. Why D gun there? That was a waste. I think he uh, expects uh, his crow to die. Or I hoped to get some, uh... Yeah... Oh, I didn't realize it would deform the ground so much. Oh yeah, this this map is very deformable. So that makes your vehicles kinda... Well, that's been for a while, actually. If you notice, Flipstep has not really been using vehicles for the last 10 minutes. No, Probably he's putting all his uh, resources in Striders. Yeah, and the Striders are pretty much all terrain, but... At well, least the ones he's been using, or they've been using. But and, the vehicles, uh, no, the vehicles mostly no been, uh... Wasting bombers on shield balls and other small units on the shield ball. Yeah, we see Norm is just... They have not been able to keep up. They're going for a Wyvern, though. Oh, come on. What are you doing, Flip? Where are those Scorches going? You have your exit point of your factory in their base. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're... Wow. That's an old exit point. <laughs> the you cannot expect them. to play like this, dude. It doesn't work. Come on. Not in tournament, no. That is the thing. It's very important to know when to pay attention. And man, at some point, you... a lot of funnel web. Yeah, definitely. Both crows still alive. They're getting repaired. Back there goes not a bomber against the shield. Well, ball. the crows are basically fully repaired. Clones is fully repaired. Princey's has been fully repaired for a little while. Once again, moving forward together this time. And there's the funnel web, and that's about it. The drones trying to do what they can, but. The felons taking them out. The thing you can't use single light units against felons, and funnel webs are basically single light unit generators. That's all they do. And there goes the D gun right now. There we go. Trying to take out funnel web, and that's actually not going to work. It's quite damaging though, but not death. And there goes the other D gun. There's the other crow, and. That should kill at least one of the funnel ones, possibly two. One of them goes down, burying the other two in a hole. Ouch. That is a bad place to be. Yeah, funnel nice to use of anti-air trucks. It was a uh, wreck havoc. Yeah, with the copperheads? Definitely. But it's still... I think that's kind of game. I mean, it's a bit of a slow burn at this point, but I don't see... I don't see their use of units being efficient enough. <laughs> no, Thorn, indeed. Thorn and Princey went from having half the military of Flipstep and Norm to having a little over one and a half the military. Just by not losing that much. Relatively, at least. Yeah, it was basically Norm <coughs> just <coughs> constantly giving units away. He wasn't doing much. He was and just basically feeding the other team metal without yeah. doing anything for about five minutes. Which is shameful after that comp snipe, too. Is that or that factory snipe? I mean, that factory snipe basically took, gave them the game. And it was theirs to lose, which unfortunately they did by basically not pushing hard enough with in the right position. Well, Burn coming in though, getting rid of the shield ball. But yeah, they never got rid of the shield ball before. That was a big problem. But those, with this much anti-air, all those uh, funnel, funnel webs don't work anymore. Yeah, they're useless. I mean, really, at this point, Flipstep should just reclaim the funnel web and then build something else. Not even more catapults, just. Oh. Double Inferno? I think so. No! Double Nuke onto the Singularity Reactor that Flips had already built! Oh, that actually didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I thought it would. Okay. Weird. Yeah, double Aos. And then another Aos into the missile silo, damaging it. Wait, wait what? No explosion, just, just damage. Okay. Yeah, the missile silo here is going to be able to do everything first. There, is there even a missile silo? There is a missile. There's an AOS coming in for Norm, which will probably be used on the factory. I don't even know. Where would it be used? Ox trying to get rid of the crow. Crow being forced back. And 
that AO is this even gonna be built up. I don't think it's gonna be built up before it's destroyed. And once again, Crow coming in to get rid of the funnel, get rid of the workers. Tearing apart even more of the terrain. Making even more of it buried underwater, but it doesn't Just really click matter. the crow to kill it. Just select those fighters and click the crow. Well, they're killing the North Crow. The North Crow's actually... Is it dead? Is it? No, it's not. Oh, come on! That crow was so dead. He only needed to select his fighters and click the crow. But and he wasn't. there goes another Aos? Yes, another Aos. And the exit point of Flip's factory is still in uh, Princey's base. Well, Princey now starting up on shield bots? Yeah, they're starting up on shield bots. <laughs> Five factories. Oh, yeah. Sing okay, apparently Singularity does implosion, not explosion. That's a good point. I forgot about that. Didn't do the implosion effect, though. And the nuke coming in... Two warriors at the north. They're kind of idling. Could have done so much. Come on! For fuck's sake. Where? Oh, well, there's four warriors over here with the... With a the dozen the Rockos. They are moving in, though, but it's not enough. I mean, that's the thing. I don't know if Norm is really experienced with super late-game stuff. I thought I think they are. I thought they were anyway. I don't, I don't think... Uh, maybe he plays completely zoomed in and he doesn't keep track of his units. I don't know. However, got rid of Princey's missile silo. That's that is something. That's a good thing to get rid of. I'm not sure how well it's going to actually matter, or how much it's going to matter. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Though it does mean this missile silo here is going to be a bit better protected. It's going to be an easier time dealing with that. But at this point, they're they can't really deal with the shield ball. I mean, they haven't got much to deal with it. The cavalry oh, isn't a bad idea, and that's done. Yeah, but. He needs to retreat from that crown. Where is... Oh, there's more funnel webs. Once again, more and more funnel webs. Despite them being countered by the chainsaw. And in comes... Oh, oh that's a nice... Uh, nice Aos nice. hit. I did not expect that to work. But yeah, there goes that shield ball. So Clone loses a massive chunk of their shield ball. The felon chunk, primarily. Those warriors could have done so incredibly much, but... Yeah, they ran into the shield ball before it was nuked. Uh, those two warriors could have taken out the entire top right corner of the map. All the nanos, the lab. The oh, that's just... a good point. That lab isn't even being used. That factory is completely idle. And that crow, okay, now there's not much to defend against. There's a few vandals, but that's about it. And one felon. Uh. <coughs> this crow maybe will die. Maybe. And another nuke goes down. Oh, that was uh, a bad the spot. Oh, all oh, right. There was the woodburn. Yeah, never mind. Well, it's still a nuke of sorts. And once again, <laughs> the crow does not die. No crows don't die. <sighs> well, I guess that's how you use the crow. I mean, if the crow dies, it, it really wasn't worth it. The crow ever dies, pretty much. And the crow is staying in the shield quite nicely too. Degunning through the work. Uh, that's just death. I mean, flipstep. Princey is really. It looks like they're trying to deal with. Flipstep set up. Flipstep with the yeah, catapult. Yeah, the crowd died. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, well, the catapult, too. How about that? Oh, All right. So, Flipstep, flipstep tried pulling to snipe it back. The, uh, there was too much <coughs> anti air there. <laughs> Four Razor Kiss and two of those chainsaws was too much. Yeah, well, not to mention it's also the catapult finished off, but overall. Yeah, the chainsaws, despite the shield. But even then, there's still yet another crow, and another funnel web uh, is... Uh, they uh, cannot get... Flipstep to stop they at any do funnel webs. far ahead yet to... Flipstep, you donate. Like you are a very generous person, I must say. It's an admirable quality. It's just not particularly useful in a tournament game. But yeah, this thing is, the funnel webs are... They're coming up, they're being powerful, they're doing stuff. And triple Aos? Where is this being aimed? Oh, at the workers. Okay, that should have been a triple napalm. That really should have been triple napalm. And Catapult deciding to commit treason. I'm not sure exactly what Flipstep is trying to do anymore, but... Norm, however, going for an Aos on the... Okay, what? Norm... There's a reason why most people tend to go for Infernos, not Aos. They deal a lot of widespread damage. Even if you miss, you still hit. Looks like Princey's gonna be able to take out the sword side. I mean, the bandits are trying, are doing some damage, but. Or rather, the bandits are trying to be blocked up against. So let's try trying to block the bandits. That's what I wanted to say. 
Flips are trying to block the bandits, not succeeding in doing so. This scorpion is thankfully not degunning its way out of the cloak. And Princey has so much reclaimed economy off of their crow. I think they're going to build another crow. Nope, they're building rapiers. Just building masses of rapiers with the crow money. Like, they don't even have the energy to make that crow money pay off. They're just, they're burning it to deny reclaim. Yeah, Clon and Princey cannot spend the resource they're getting. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, they have double the, they have double the military. Flipstep has the same military as Clone and Princey individually. Yeah. By cost, I mean. And it was highly concentrated, so it's actually not even the case. I think a nuke would be nice now. A real nuke. Yeah, a strategic nuke. I don't... Oh, I see one! No, it's a singularity reaction. Never mind. That's the wrong icon. No, we do not have shiny. Skyrocket their income. I, I'm surprised oh, no one got shiny. Oh, that's a lot of death Ooh, that's a good uh, death felon. Yeah, that is... Oh, there are, there are not that much felons yeah. left. Uh... No, a lot of them were destroyed Without by the Without you don't really have a shield ball. No, that's where the Aeos has been used for, and Shockey as well, interesting. So we're actually seeing some... Okay, now is the Inferno, that's what I wanted to see. We're seeing EMP missiles too. Retreat, uh... Oh boy. Wow, getting rid of some of the Rapiers too with the Catapult. Nice shot there. That Forcing area is not more possible for vehicles. <laughs> and it looks like... Oh, another factory? Oh, yeah, Flips have been going for Spiderbot Factory just out of the blue. I guess they must be going for Crab. That or they're trying to get a bunch of red I say you need another Singularity. Let's spam that ego. Well, Flips have definitely pushing that energy. Flip and Orm really do have the economy. They do. They just don't have... They just have been wasting a lot of the military. Although I don't think nukes count as military, so it might be why that's happening. And miss with the Shockley. <laughs> oh, this they need to fire the AOs on this now. Like, this shield ball is right where it needs to be for the AOs to fire. Norm is not paying attention to this. They're about to lose the missile silo. I think that's the summary of this game. Not paying attention. <laughs> oh, man. Lost the missile silo. Lost the nukes and the Inferno. Just blew up and burned down that entire area because the missile silo just lost all his missiles. Blew them all up. I mean, they were disarmed, but they could have been fired off sooner. That's kind of the difference between the rates of player or rankings of players, though, is that it's like you ain't good enough. That's the thing. You're able to pay attention to so much of the map, especially for 40 minutes, because this game is 40 minutes long so far. Yeah. This has been a very, very long game. Please, for the love of God, do not get her after this. Oh, that's easier to uh, defend on this map. Comet Catchers... Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah, Comet Catcher can be over in five minutes. I've seen that If happen. you're attacking, you're really at a disadvantage. Whereas right now, the vehicles can do nothing in the center, or very little in the center, because it's such a crater. I mean, goodness sakes, this is... I don't even know. It's a bunch of new lakes, because why not? They really should take care of the shield ball in the center. Oh, sniper, sniper. They're not even not aware paying of it attention. anymore. I, I should uh, ring a cowbell. Uh, well, you could, but there's a two minute delay on the stream, so good luck with that. Uh, right. Here comes the D gun from the Scorpion. Uh, yeah. That's, okay, now bomb that's it. Good, uh, that's good, that's good. Follow up. Uh, got, you got the Rockos. You have the outlaw stunned. That's the biggest thing. Now, Thunderbird, if they had, were still alive. They don't have Thunderbirds left. That's, that's a shame. Be very useful right now. And, and one we are, in fact, going for Strider. Hermits and Anti-Nukes. Flipstip expecting Nukes. Which is amusing, because so is Clone. Neither <laughs> player actually going for the Nukes. Both of them just opting to block. Well, whatever. They have money to spare. They can get away with that. Although, Princey actually doesn't. Princey only a 30... Or plus 30 metal. Mostly because the reclaim has largely gone down. The catapult slowly crawling that south side of the map, trying to take it out. Flipstip seems to be just trying to concentrate on one section of the map, but Norm has lost the entire north side. They're falling behind. They have so much... I mean, so much of this is... What the... Oh, okay. Ah, hermits. Weird, I can't turn that off. But it's... it's... It's nice to have hermits. Yes, and actually, oh, it looks like they're gonna uh, try to go for a faction. You just you you 
end up fighting gunships and you cannot attack when there's air. No, but I think what they're going to try to do is go for a faction Unless snipe you directly. you outnumber them. Eh, that's not going to work. Oh, Zone and Princey, both of their gunships. Them. No real anti-air. The Hermits are going to try because something's there. They're going to shoot towards it, but they're not going to hit. And those Hermits, unfortunately, being spotted out, that was probably... That was part of the strategy, was to avoid getting detected until they got around to the other side, which is, frankly, a futile effort. And now you get gunships. Hey. I mean, Thorne and Princey have a really good idea of what's going on on both sides of that hill. And there goes... Yeah, that's the... That's the attack that takes it out. Although the Hermits, most of them are still alive. Surprisingly enough, a lot of them still survived that, that Crow D-gun. Mm, but at the same time, the shield ball coming into Norm's base, taking that out. So Norm has basically lost. Flipstiff still has their catapult. They're still pushing forward, still smashing Princey. And Kroon stopping that Hermit Ball. Or trying to stop the Hermit Ball. Actually having a harder time than expected. But yeah, that, that's... It's just, it's a slow burn end. I mean, Flips are really pushing very hard to keep their units alive, keep their stuff in play. Getting more chainsaws. I'm a bit surprised that neither player has actually gone for any nuke silo, to be quite honest. <laughs> I don't know how effective it would be, given the anti-nukes have been built by both players, but still, you know, it needs to be there. And the catapult continuing to work decently with defense in the south. It's just, Clone has the perfect position to take out everything. And they are taking advantage of that position. So it's really just a matter of Clone's shield ball pushing in, successfully breaking this entire base. Although the funnel web coming in and there's no anti-air, that's the one problem. That funnel web is actually going to be able to do something. Unlike the other five or so funnel webs, which were able to do exactly nothing, that one has a chance. Let's still have that. Um... Hmm. No, well, it doesn't. Another funnel web goes down. Yeah. And by chance, I mean that in the absolute loosest sense of the term, being that we got another Crow Deegan coming down here. Smashing that funnel web into the ground, and it burns to death. Oh, it didn't even burn to death. There it goes. Dead. By laser. Crow laser kills it, and... No, and of course, you cannot it. kill a crow. <laughs> the shields also stop anti-air lasers. Yep. Hey, finally, somebody focuses, shifts uh, attention. Well, I don't even know how but much it matters. But you have uh, gunships to defend. I mean, it's... Yeah, there, there is that damage going on here. There is the glaives. There is the attack. But that got rid of a couple caretakers, which isn't bad. But at this point, I don't think Kron really cares. No, he just has this uh, very effective use of uh, pros and a shield ball. Yeah, I mean, they only have 30 metal, though. So there is the chance that Flipstep and Norm... And they're trying to throw raiders. At I mean, if Flipstep and Norm could be uncharacteristically efficient with their units... They'd actually be able to come back, being that Norn and Princey have half the economy again. Flips of Norm have so much reclaim to work from that they could, once again, pull this right back into their favor, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. Like, that, that would require them to play completely uh, differently from how the they are before. One of the big problems is those uh, racketeers, huh? Oh yeah, that the crab is out. Uh, get hard countered by it. That crab is out of play. A 350 metal unit. <laughs> You well, cannot another hit the shield. Crab, is it going to do anything? I don't think so. I mean, it can't. No, 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 you cannot. It. If there were a Thunderbird, a Thunderbird synergy with this would be perfect, but there's there's nothing. Nothing is being built by. I mean, there's anti air, but that's about it. 45 minutes. 45 minutes, but I mean, Clone Probably and Princey have this game. Clone is now just. They are securing the North. Taking out Norm's base, taking out Norm's power structure. Really, I think the best thing they could do is try to cut off the power infrastructure. Like, go in and just cut off as much as they can. I don't know if they're going to do that, though. They like, just try to cut cut through since they had as little overdrive as possible. Shield, ball, shield, ball, shield, ball, shield, ball, shield, ball, shield, ball. It's positively indestructible. Big of the shield ball anyway. My goodness. That's 10,000 metal worth of shield ball. That's a half of Clone's mm -hmm. army is this shield ball. And the other half is the crow. They didn't know how to handle it. They didn't know. Well, I mean, the thing is, they had some good ideas. The nukes weren't a bad idea. They just weren't used properly. And hey, a silencer! About 15 minutes late. But hey, it's there. 
sort of. It, it almost is there. It's like 43 health. Okay, now it's gone. Yeah, this this game looks like it's over. But it's been looking like it's over back and forth a few times now. But I think this is actually over. I think. <laughs> the crowd is putting themselves in a bit of an awkward position. And no, if there was a nuke right now, that would have been a perfect time to disarm. But there is no nuke. Gorn and Princey have opted to go for the non-nuclear option, and that's... Yeah. Gorn, nuke? Do you have a nuke? No. Shit. I could use a nuke right now. I just I disarmed the protector. We can nuke stuff if you want. And the catapult, once again, going for friendly fire. I think mean, that's the best option. It's time to throw his lot in with Gorn and Princey. See if he can get amnesty for betraying its former team. And the crap surviving the, the pro decently well, thanks to sitting down. But it doesn't really matter. Princey going in for kill, getting rid of the singularity reactor, and that is not death. No, not quite. Lost the bomber before he could kill it, and the rest of the bomb. Wow, no raven survived that. Every single raven died. And then North, however, is dead. Norm can't easily save it. Flipstip is going to try to help out Conan Princey just by bombing it out. And yeah, Norm realizes there's not much left, so this game is over. However, this was game one of potentially three. To just point that out there. There are possibly two more games. Although I think that the other players are quite tired by now. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to work. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure. Flips have been Norm. They're going to be exhausted going into game two because they're, I mean, Norm especially. Norm is like me. In North America is like at best 6 a.m. for them. Or 7 a.m. What time is it? 4 o'clock? Yeah, 7.30 at best. And they would have been up since 3 or so. And there we go. Team one resigning. <laughs> Almost an hour into the game. Flips have been Norm. Throw in the towel. That was game. That was a hell of a game. It was. Lots of metal was wasted. Yes. Yes, it was. Was it ever? But Look at the map. The map is pretty... Uh, pockmarked. It's a metal indeed. field. I didn't know this was a sea map. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Awesome. So we're going to okay. have... <laughs> it was entertaining. Right. But really... Just be passive. Don't take too much risk. Play like clone. Clone one. I was saying. No anyway. attrition is better than take a risk. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, although admittedly they did have a few opportunities where they just, if they had smashed forward, yeah. they would have been able to do that. They would have been so able to take much care opportunities were just missed and sloppy control, etc., etc. Especially early on. I mean, clone and princey, or clone especially, clearly knows how to handle late game. Krohn definitely mm -hmm. knows that. Far yeah, better than anyone no, else. Norm uh, had no idea what to do. Flipsip tried, but he's also uh, ran into a wall. <laughs> he didn't know what to do. Yeah, this is... Well, moving on to game two. Not sure what map they're going to pick. Very curious. Boy, that was... Okay, well, anyway, what is game two? Oh, okay, so anyone what? watching on Twitch, I'm streaming both to Twitch and Hitbox. I'm doing both simultaneously. So, if you're watching on Twitch, hello. If you're watching on Hitbox, also hello. But you can watch both at the same time. I'd recommend only watching one or the other, though, just because the delays are different. Like, Twitch has an additional 30 second delay Although, right now it's hit hitbox to have an additional minute delay, so I don't know how it works out. I think it should be roughly synced, but frankly, I don't know. There's at least a minute delay from what I'm casting internally, and then Twitch adds another 30 seconds, and hitbox should be adding a minute. I don't know. But anyway, you can watch them both. Feel free. 
What do you? So, map has not even been chosen yet. Ow! I was right! It's a comet catcher! Hey! I'm gonna need so much tea after this. I'm gonna... After the semifinals is over, I'm gonna call a bit of a break so I can put on a pot... Or put on a cup of tea. Just because I need it. Okay. So, we're going to be on Comic Catcher, and that might be a long game again. That might be a short game. Comic Catcher can be either. Mm -hmm. Unlike Cold Snap, which is... Flipstep is strong on uh, Comic Catcher. Ah, so we could have a game three. Hmm. That's an interesting point. Right, so, Comic Catcher, I'm sure if anyone who's watched this before knows what Comic Catcher is, Comic Catcher is a very flat map. It is flat. Okay, well, are gonna start. So we are... Oh, what? Prince Rupert needs a break? <sighs> Seriously, now I is a bad time. I could use a little break, to be honest. Okay, yes, I could, I could use one too. It just makes it really tough to edit it out, especially since people have started popping up on Twitch. Hello, people on Twitch. Hopefully it's not people too laggy Twitch, for you. Hello. <laughs> because Twitch can be really annoying sometimes. But it looks like we are going to be taking a break, so I'll be back. We'll all be back. Probably in like five minutes, so stay tuned.